My name is Belinda Ogude, and I am Malik Ogude's mom. He was born with sickle cell disease. I have four boys. Uh, Malik is the eldest, and then Michael, Miles, and I have a 10-month-old, Mahir. Sickle cell is a disease that affects red blood cells. When you have sickle cell disease, almost 50% or even more of those red blood cells actually take on a sickle shape, which is sort of like the shape of a half moon. And so they're no longer effective at carrying as much oxygen as we need throughout our bodies. Another one of the problems is that they actually get bunched up in our blood vessels at your, at your joints and it causes excruciating pain. When he was born, I actually didn't really notice anything was off with Malik. The nurse basically said that he has sickle cell. So I said, yeah, I have sickle cell trait, so he probably has the trait too. She said, no, he has the disease. They just spoke about how much pain he would be in and just a whole bunch of things that would be happening to him. I, I didn't even know what to do. Like, I really lost hope. They said to us, you guys have a program where they're actually doing bone marrow transplants, but it has to be a sibling donor. He only had one sibling and I knew it would be a really rough word for Michael. He was still young. Of course, first we had to do some tests with Michael and um, long story short, he actually turned out to be a perfect match. We had to do a whole bunch of lab tests on Michael to make sure that um, we'd actually be able to go on with the transplant. And they took Michael in to harvest the bone marrow. It was, you know, it was really hard. I tried to focus on the fact that, you know, we were doing something that was saving uh, Malik's life and um, it would be better for all of us as a family. It was really amazing to find out that the transplant was successful. It was really lucky and it was really lucky that my brother was a compatible um, bone marrow donor. I hope he doesn't have to go through that again or anything like that again. It was like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. I don't remember much about having sickle cell, but uh, I remember feeling pain then. It was more the pain of like when you get hit by a baseball bat or something. Like I don't have to worry about it anymore. The only pain that I need to worry about is if I stub my toe or something. After the transplant, uh, we took labs every two days, his labs, his counts were looking good, um, the bone marrow was in place and everything was looking fine. Right now he's back to normal like any other kid, he can take part in any kind of activities at school or anywhere else, but um, he is still a part of their clinic and every year he still continues to go back to, um, to get checkups just to make sure. If someone is going through something similar, I would tell them to not give up, just keep hope alive. For every visit that we went to the hospital, we were just sitting with bated breath, just waiting for those lab results. They basically determined the course of every day and the actions that the doctors would take after that. I don't think that they would have found out that Michael was a compatible donor if they hadn't done the test they did, so it wasn't, there's not really a question of if I would be here right now without the lab tests. I'm pretty certain I couldn't be sitting here with a smile on my face uh, if it wasn't for pathologists, all those people who work in the labs tirelessly. We could have not have come to this place without their hard work.